Hi friends, it's Jason and this week we are talking about the new series by Victoria Aviard called Realm Breaker and um, this series currently as it stands is two books. There is the first one, Realm Breaker and Blade Breaker is the second book. This one just came out late last year. Now this is going to be a trilogy, we know that. Right now we know that it's gonna be a trilogy. These were about a year apart and um, so I suspect that book three will be coming um, mid to late 2023, so we're not that far off. So if you haven't started this series, you can get into these two books and you will not have to wait too long to get into book three. Now, these two books, um, basically, they are, it's a quest story. Hands down, there's no question, there's a quest story. It's kind of a chosen one. Um, we follow the uh, main character whose name is Corrine. She is the daughter of a pirate, a female pirate, and she's kind of, we learn, a chosen one. There's um, a quest that she has to go on. There's a big bad. There is some history with her bloodline. There is a, uh, uh, like I said, there is a quest that she has to go on and throughout that um, she pulls in other people that join her little group. Everyone from an immortal being to a um, an assassin and an old sorceress and and it, it just goes on and on and um there's an evil queen there's a big bad there's um a different realm where some evil is coming from i'm, I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as i can for those that have not read these books um now one thing i just want to say that these are not um, hard reads. They're um, pretty easy to burn through. They're fairly long. They're they're four or five hundred pages, which is is pretty substantial. But they're, they're not too too bad. They're pretty easy to get through. But the story, like I said, it follows Corrine and her exploits and how um, her mother has, all, who was the pirate, always has kept her at home. And all as Corrine wanted to do was go out on grand adventures with her mother. Now, um, Corrine, because of what happens in the story, um, gets to go out on this grand adventure. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, um, this book, these two books have, and you know how much I love a good map, have one of the snazziest maps I have seen in a long time. It is absolutely gorgeous. And Victoria Aviard herself told me on TikTok that this is one of her all-time favorite maps. Like, she absolutely loves it. So that's kind of cool. She uh, uh, checked out my review of these books on TikTok, and she told me that in the comments. So that's really cool. Like I said, this is not a completed series yet, but we're very close to get getting into the third book. This one has been out for... Uh, f several months now. It just took me a while to get around to read it because of other books. So um, I definitely, I, I like them. They're, they, it's not the, the uh, a unique story. Um, there are some unique elements to it. it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed reading it. It was not a hard read, like I said, but uh, I think most people would uh, enjoy it. I wouldn't say that there's anything um, that would deter people from um, reading it. There's not really anything triggering in it or anything like that. So um, one of my favorite characters is the assassin in the story. She is, I think her name's Sarasa. Uh, I think that's how you say it. And um, she she's a really interesting character and I really hope they expand her a bit more in the third book um, because she's really cool. Uh, she could have a series all of her own, which would be really interesting. Like if, if there was ever a prequel to this, I'd want to know more about that character and even some of the immortal character as well. You could branch out and have other stories from the, each individual, one of these characters for their backstory. It's, it's interesting and, and you never know, maybe Victoria Aviard will do that. Um, but definitely check these out if you're interested in any of those elements that, uh, um, 
I mentioned from the quest to the evil queen and uh, the chosen one found family there is some of that in here as well so uh, check these out and if you uh, like this or have read these and you want to leave a comment down below please do so and while you're down there please hit like it helps me out and hit subscribe if you want to check out more book reviews and I'll see you again next time